Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this. Um, it belongs to McFarlane's DC Multiverse line. We have Harley Quinn as she appears in the new Suicide Squad movie. Um, as you can see right here, uh, Suicide Squad. All right, so I'm very, very late to the party on this action figure. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I've been sitting on this action figure for a while now. Um, I got it, this figure, maybe like a week, a week or two out from when the movie was going to be released. And then at the time, um, I reviewed Bloodsport and Peacemaker. And then the movie came out. And then I think, it, and then um, I kind of just, I think for me anyways, it's not that I lost interest in the action figures, but I was more excited about the action figures um, before the movie came out. And then once the movie came out, I kind of lost steam and interest in reviewing these. So I kind of set them aside. And with the rate new toys come out, it was easy for this figure and Polka Dot Man to get pushed to the back of the line. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just trying to go through my pile of stuff to review. And I forgot that I had this. So yeah, I'm going to take a look at <laughs> this Harley Quinn figure that um, I should have reviewed like well over a month ago. Um... It's cool. Um, I'm not too keen on this costume. Um, you know, for me, ideally, I would have loved it if they made an action figure of the costume she was wearing at the beginning of the film. Uh, that costume much more resembles like the Arkham, Arkham, what's it called Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight video game version of like Harley Quinn. If you're if you're familiar with those video games, I love that outfit. Whereas this one, it's just yeah, it's just Margot Robbie in a dress. Which I have no problem with. I love Margot Robbie. She's awesome. Uh, but yeah, this is this is not the costume I prefer, but this is the costume I got. And as always with the McFarlane figures, um, we have the build a piece for King Shark. And as excited as I was or am to build this guy, um, right now I think I'm going to hold off on assembling him. Just because I'd rather review the completed toy that's, that belongs to the gold label series that comes with the figure and additional accessories. So yeah, I'm going to hold off on reviewing King Shark until I maybe get the gold label one. And if I can't, I'll cave in at some point and just review this. But I'm sure, you'll, you know, if you go on YouTube, you could probably find hundreds of reviews on King Shark already. I mean, this toy line's been out for a while. Um, the package is your standard McFarlane Fair. It's that big kind of like rectangle box. Um, you got the logo here for the movie, it's Harley Quinn on the back, uh, just a, looks like a studio photo of her in the, co in the costume. She doesn't look this pale and white in the movie. She looks very flesh toned, I think, if I remember correctly. I gotta rewatch the movie, it's been a while. But I don't remember her looking this pale in the movie. Um, uh, here are the different pieces to build King Shark. Uh, so there are four figures in this wave, which I could appreciate. There was uh, Polka Dot Man, Bloodsport, and Peacemaker. And uh, I believe you could buy the entire set at McFarlane Toys, at, you know, directly from them. I think on the McFarlane shop, they offer a giant box set, which comes with all four of these figures, plus, I think, King Shark. If I'm wrong on that, just leave a um, comment down below. But I believe you could buy this as a complete set already. And um, as I stated earlier, they do release... There is a single uh, boxed version of King Shark on his own. And that's under the Gold Label series. Alright, let's get this toy out. Just does not want to open. There we go. All right, so uh, we have the giant king shark. Like, I'm excited to build this dude. To be honest, because it's going to be gigantic. But like I said, I'd rather hold off and wait and see if I could get the the deluxe boxed one, just because it comes with more accessories. Um, so, uh, what we have here underneath, you can see there's a figure stand, and then there's a trading card. And then we have Harley Quinn right here. She comes with her 
bow staff kind of deal. Or spear. I don't remember when in the movie she gets this. And let's take a look at Harley herself. Um, Alright, so I want to remove the figure without actually damaging the card. Just because I do collect stuff mint on card. Or mint in box. Alright, so we have Harleen Quinzel as played by actress Margot Robbie. And, uh, alright, so I'm I'm not sure if in the movie, alright, so in the movie is, because this figure isn't as white as it appears in the studio art. It's a little bit more in, like a like a flesh tone color. It's almost like she's been avoiding the sun. I can't remember in the movie if she's more pale white, like, you know, like the Joker, or if she's flesh toned like this. Um, it's a nice figure. Like I said, this isn't the costume I prefer. But, you know, looking beyond that, it's incredibly well done. The sculpting is amazing, like you expect from the McFarlane toys. I do have issues with some of the articulation. Like, some of the McFarlane stuff, I hate the wrist joints. Just because they have that ex exposed ball joint here, which looks kind of gross. It's, it almost looks like, <clears throat> it almost looks like she's, like, has a tumor growing out of her hand or something but the sculpting is really well done as you see up close um, nice clean cut lines the details a lot of nice definition uh, the likeness on her face is, is pretty good I'd say at least an 8 out of 10 it's not perfect but it looks awesome nonetheless Really clean sculpting in the hair. Great attention to detail with all her tattoos, as you can see here. And if you're a pervert like me, uh, yes, she's wearing panties. She's not going commando like the old Spawn Angela figure. All right, let's take a look at articulation. Um, articulation, her head rotates. She can look down. Uh, she can look up. Um, her arms will rotate. They go out. Um, there's bicep swivel. Wait, is there? Yeah, there's bicep swivel. Um, she has double jointed elbows, as you can see right there. So those move. She has that really cool um, McFarlane butterfly joint. It's almost like, so the upper arm is like a ball in a socket. And then instead of having the standard but butterfly joint, it's, a, it's another ball in socket. So you have upward motion. It, sometimes I feel it's unnecessary because the range of motion, it's not like it's providing that much more. As you can see here, it just provides a little bit more articulation. And in terms of arching back, it doesn't really do anything. Same with arching forward. So it feels like it's a little, it was unnecessary. They could have just probably just gave us a, you know, the clean, the clean shoulder without worrying about that butterfly. But it's there, you know, for people that at least want it. But it, it's not providing that greater range of motion. You know, as you can see right here, it's moving just a little bit inward and outward. It's not like a Spider-Man figure where, you know, Spider-Man could like fully arch his arms back. Um, in terms of waist articulation, it's kind of stiff just because her dress, I think her dress is, might be one piece. I can't tell here. No, it's actually two separate pieces, but it, it doesn't want to rotate or it's just because it feels like it's being held in place. Same with ab crunch. If there's an ab crunch here, it's not... It's not really give. It's not really providing any give. And me being a pervert, I'm kind of curious if this is a separate piece. Yeah, her dress is a separate piece. It looks like it's glued on. So if you're a pervert like me, chances are you could probably cut the dress off and paint on nipples, <laughs> which I've done in the past for like other action figures. I don't know. I was young back then, so um, there's tattoos on her legs. Uh, she has double jointed knees. 
Um, I love her army boots. They're pretty cool. But again, it has that really horrible McFarlane like ball, ball joint that like sticks out like a sore thumb. I don't know why they can't do a better job of hiding that. As you can see, there's that ball joint. It's just fully exposed. Yeah, I don't like it. You know, like here on the wrist, it looks like she has like a tumor or something. Um, there is no boot cut, so there's no boot swivel, but you do get a lot of articulation in the ankles, as you can see here. Um, there is no, I believe she can't lean, the, the ankles look like they just go up and down. I don't think they're on a rocker, so it, it can't, it can't go inward or outward, just up or down, which is unfortunate, but that's all right. And here's her spear or staff or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's a decent figure. Um, it's kind of vanilla in my opinion. Um, like I said, I would have preferred the costume that we got at the beginning of the film. That one's decked out to look more like Harley Quinn that you might be familiar with, especially if you play the video games. And that one's the gun-wielding one. Um, and as some of you know, you know, McFarlane DC stuff, you know, they're not allowed to package guns with their action figures anymore, which is unfortunate. But yeah, great figure overall. Um, kind of vanilla. It's all right. If I had to rate this figure, a plain seven. Um, you know, not too high, not too low. It has articulation, but the range of movement's kind of limited in some areas. Um, you know, especially her dress. Even though her dress is really well sculpted and detailed, it seems like it's more of a hindrance than anything. It prevents her from like rotating at the white waist or providing an ab crunch. Especially like a character like Harley Quinn. She's very acrobatic in the films. So yeah, this figure, it's it's nice, but it, it could you have there's some room for improvement. And I know we're getting another Harley Quinn, I think sometime down sometime soon. It's gonna be based off of um her costume in Birds of Prey. And uh, I think that's the only other Margot Robbie figure we're going to get in the meantime. I would, it's like I said, I would love if they gave us the other costume from the beginning of the film. And maybe her costume from the original Suicide Squad film. But only time will tell. I'm sure it's, you know, in their thoughts right now to actually put out those figures. But yeah, decent figure. You know, it's, it's kind of average, but, you know, it is what it is and it completes the set. And since we're on the subject of Harley Quinn, let's take a look at some other Harley Quinn figures real quick. Uh, so we have the other McFarlane Harley Quinn. This is based off of the Batman the Animated Series. I believe this is the based off of the original... Um, was it Bruce Timm who designed it? I think. Can't remember. And this is something I, I like, but they don't do it anymore. I used to love it when the McFarlane figures used to have the comic book artwork on the back. Someone explained to me that the reason why they don't do that anymore, it could be an issue with the artist. Because if they use the artwork, the artist has to be compensated. Or, you know, something along those lines. But it's awesome, though, because, it, you know, they give you an image here and they tell you the source material. Like, this is from Harley Quinn number 15. Yeah, that looks, that looks, this looks great. All right, so here's the other Harley Quinn figure that I was talking about. This is the one from um, Birds of Prey. I don't remember seeing this in stores. I'm not sure if this ever came out. It might have, and maybe I just missed it. But yeah, I don't remember seeing this. This is the other Margot Robbie figure. Um, I was checking Amazon, and Amazon said they were getting it in stock in November, so... You know, fingers crossed, I'd like to get that. But th I like this version of Harley a lot. Um, this is my Harley. This is the one I grew up on. Um, when Batman the Animated Series came out, I believe it might have been like 91. And I was in high school at the time. And I, lo I loved that TV show. That was awesome. So this is a great figure. Um, I, I kind of just wish they would give us a Joker in the animated style also to you know, complement this. But as of this as of this video, I don't think they've given us that yet. Uh, here's another Margot Robbie figure. Um, uh, so this is from the first Suicide Squad film, and this is 
um, uh, the Mattel DC Multiverse figure. So this line of figures was slightly shorter. This is more of a six inch scale. And then we have the very stylized um, Harley Quinn. It took me a long time to warm up to this costume. Um, I thought the costume designs in this film was it's kind of weird. Um, you know, everyone looked kind of homeless <laughs> or something. But I, I mean, this kind of—I mean, in time, this became a really popular look for the character. And I think that Halloween, I think Harley Quinn was like one of the uh, most popular costumes at the time. But it's cool. She has the bat. You know, she actually comes with a gun, unlike the McFarlane stuff. And then here, um, so th this line was for Suicide Squad. So he collected all the different figures to get to build the figure pieces, and he could build um, Killer Croc. Nice figure. And lastly, we have this. Um, this is a from uh, DC Collectibles, which used to be known as DC Direct. This is the DC Designer Series Amanda Connor Harley Quinn. So for the Designer Series, um, DC would take uh, um, some of the more iconic versions of the character as illustrated by some of their well-known artists. And Amanda Connor, she was associated with Harley Quinn for a very, very long time. Um, I believe she was the writer and artist on one of the um, Harley Quinn series. And Amanda Carner is a great artist. Uh, she's married to uh, Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, if you're a longtime comic book fan, you'll remember that he was the inker for Joe Quesada way, way back in the day. You know, they did, I think they did like Daredevil together. They worked on, I think, Batman and Azrael. Um, Jimmy Palmiotti, he's also, you know, well branched off to do his own thing. He does Painkiller Jane, I think, with his wife, um, Amanda Connor. They've done The Pro and a bunch of other things. Um, great artists, great couple. This is a great figure, too. It's kind of funny. It comes with like a. <laughs> It's kind of like tongue-in-cheek uh, humor. Um, they they always they sometimes work kind of blue. Um, you get this beaver here, and he has like a clock in his belly. And I think it's supposed to be a bomb, if I remember correctly. It was such a long time ago. And then she comes with her gag pistol right here. And this is called traditional Harley Quinn. This is the very old school OG. It's, it's almost like the uh, animated series version. And on the back, we have... So it's cool. They gave Amanda Connor like an entire series of figures. So they released an entire line of Harley Quinns based off of all the different Amanda Connor designs. So you have traditional Harley Quinn, you have spacesuit Harley Quinn, superhero Harley Quinn, and then holiday Harley Quinn. And this was... This came out uh, some time ago. This is actually an older toy. I want to say this might be as old as my, maybe like 2014 or even older than that. I bought this at my comic book shop for $28 back in the day. I remember I was kind of lukewarm to the um, DC Designer Series. Because at the time they also had, I think it was DC Essentials. So for a good number of years, I'm not sure if they still do it. DC Comics, they were dabbling in you know their own collectible market. And they had DC Direct, so they they produced their own action figures, and those were amazing. The sculpting and detail on those figures were really well done. Um, they, they are premium action figures, and then they released a line of figures called DC Essentials, and they were nice, but they were slightly smaller than the Mattel figures. And that for me, that was kind of like I couldn't pull the trigger on on these figures just because they were a little bit smaller. But this one I could just because I wanted this iconic version of Harley Quinn. And it's, it's cool. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Um, do I recommend this figure? Yeah, of course. It's Harley Quinn. Um, even though I just gave it a, a rating of a 7, I think it's still a wonderful figure. Um, I love Margot Robbie. She's awesome. And her Harley Quinn's really cool. Um, and, yeah, and yeah, if you know if, you're, if you want to build up King Shark, you kind of need this figure. Unless you go the single-carded route and just get the gold label one. 
So wrapping this video up, um, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Glad to have you aboard. If you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, take care of yourself, be safe, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll talk to you soon. Later.